Taurus. Welcome to your second half of November love reading for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Your energy is so serious, okay? Your energy is real fucking serious. So as I was meditating on your energy, first of all, rise to power. Oh yeah, it's it's serious. It's real fucking serious. Taurus, I heard you are the authority. The authority. I don't know what the hell's going on with you. Again, this could be something that someone that you're connecting with or it can be vice versa, as you guys know how that shit works. Um, but Taurus, I started getting so much, so many messages. I was like, I gotta get on here before I forget all these messages. There's a rise to power happening. And Taurus, I do feel like it's you, but keep in mind we are in the full moon Taurus energy. This can apply to general collective or what we will be seeing because we're all subjected to this energy. Oh, hold on a second, Taurus. Hmm. Hmm. Remember, any moon cycle, new moon, full moon that we go into, please watch that sign because that sign impacts all of us in a, in a more potent way than normal, okay? But anyway, Taurus, arise to fucking power, okay? You are the authority, and I don't feel like, like, okay, no, my back, I'm gonna head of myself, gonna head of myself. You've got a lot of fucking clarity on what you want for you. Sorry, it's so serious. You have a lot of clarity on what's going to happen and what you need to do and what you want to do. And you ain't answering to anybody. Okay, you're not. You're not answering to anybody. And it does like a rise to power or some kind of new seating or position. You could have just been promoted. I mean, it could just be something as minor as that. But it feels real serious. It feels real fucking serious. Um, people are having to answer to you. You don't answer to anybody. Okay, you don't answer to anybody. I did see butterflies. Um... Taurus, I feel like you have transformed into this even more confident, more powerful individual, and it's just undeniable. It's like, you don't have to say shit, okay? You don't have to say anything to anybody. People just know. People can just feel you walk into the room before you even get there. You know, it's that kind of presence. It's really, really powerful and really serious. I did also see a staff like a staff. It kind of reminded me of the Ace of Wands. Uh, I do feel like this is a new, like, I feel like it's just new. It's new for you, but you're, you're owning it like, like you were born for it. Okay. It's, I know, I know. I can feel you guys going like, what? I'm like, I know, I know. Even for myself, I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> so what the fuck's going on? Um, I, exalted. You're, you're being exalted. You're being exalted, Taurus. And then interesting enough, I saw Brussels sprouts and cranberries. I think someone's going to make that for holidays. Um, if you do, I think you're going to set the temperature like too high or something and it's going to burn low and slow. Just low and slow. Low and slow. Okay. Low and slow for everything. Um, but anyway, Taurus, I'm sorry. Back to you. That was clearly for someone who's going to burn a dish. <laughs> low and slow be patient be patient but when it comes to cooking be patient Taurus says by the way you love to cook I don't know why I'm letting you talk about this right now you love to cook so I think you probably are just gonna be getting your um uh, your chef's hat on anyway Taurus um I do feel a lot of energies around you though like a lot of external energies a lot of people and like I said I feel like people are having to answer to you or they're having a lot of questions for you some are even asking for your advice but you're hard to approach in this energy you're very hard to approach right now you're very intimidating you're coming off very very intimidating to other people keep in mind this could be for a man this could be for a woman whoever if you're a female though if you're a female there are people around you who are very intimidated by your power you have a lot of fucking power right now my female Torians okay um it's very ominous. And like I said, you don't have to say anything. It's just very obvious. It's very obvious, okay? A lot of your uh, your suitors could even be very intimidated by you around this time. Also, you're not you're not suffering fools. Getting out of the gender thing. Uh, you're not suffering fools is what I'm getting. You're not suffering fools. You're not putting up with anyone who's going to waste your time. Like, if, like, I have this energy of if people start talking to you, and in the first couple minutes, you realize it's something you don't want to be bothered with, or it's something you've already discussed, or it's something very repetitive, like you will dismiss them. Like you, you will just dismiss them. Like, okay, Taurus. <laughs> like you're wasting my time. <laughs> Taurus, oh my God. Big boss energy right here. Big boss energy. Um, I'm just playing with the cards as I'm still in your energy. We're not even in the pre-shuffle yet. I'm just hanging out with you guys. <sighs> Let's see what else we're getting here. I just saw, oh, something about mining. What is this? Something about mining. I feel like this is something that's happened already. Um, I'm seeing a mine. I'm seeing workers. Okay, this is a past life for somebody. Um, you ran a mine. Oh, you didn't start out running a mine, though. Oh, that's interesting. Um... 
I feel like this has to be for a man. It doesn't have to be. It could be for a female, but it just feels... I'm just seeing men, 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 men. Feels very men-oriented. And again, this is the past life that I'm seeing. So you could be a female in this life. Um, but it's like you started out as like a worker and like you worked your way up, worked your way up. Um, and usually I feel like in those kind of circumstances that can't happen because someone owns it. You know, like someone owns it and it wasn't you, but you made your way to the top somehow. I don't know what you did. It's like you went from worker bee to superior to like manager, like managing the whole operation to basically just demanding it. Oh, that's what this is, Taurus. Some of you are, that's part of your transformation for some of you, where you're just demanding this power because it you feel like it's yours. Play, just plain and simple. It's mine. Give it. Like, you're not going to be like that. You're going to be more tactful about it. Like a lot of you, this is about promotions or asking for promotions. For some, it's also a family energy of like going from, you know, being a part of the family to running the family or managing the family or being like a matriarch, patriarch kind of energy. Oh, for some of you in that position, um, someone's having to step down. And in that case, I feel some of you, there might've been a passing of a patriarch or a matriarch that would have already happened. I'm not predicting anything. That's definitely for some of you, but others where it's like, especially a family business, someone is stepping down. If actually, it actually feels like a matriarch, like stepping down and you're taking over. Hmm. Anyway, let's get into the pre-shuffle. I'm lost in your energy right now. Let's get into the pre-shuffle. Pleasing for any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the last half of November. I oh, oh I, I'm seeing babies. Oh my God, that just came in really strong. I'm seeing babies. Oh, that oh, rise to power. So, little lesson in, in abilities when it comes to family abilities or family genetics and all of that. When a new generation comes in or a generation leaves, there is a passing on of the baton, so to speak, had the the staff. <laughs> Just realized why I that's probably why I saw the staff. Um, there's like a passing on of abilities. There's a passing of the baton, right? Kind of like an, initi an initiation. This is going to be initiation for some of you. Um, and again, it could have been through various ways because for some, I feel like a matriarch or patriarch passed. And like I said, when that happens, abilities go to the rest of the, not go to, but abilities get passed on to the next generation or they get triggered for the next generation to, for them to rise to that power of that level of being a matriarch patriarch of the family so for example you know let's say the last person of the previous generation just passed then all of a sudden people like you and the other people in your generation of your family will start having um you know more experiences <laughs> more experiences so to speak and that also happens when a generation comes in and is born okay Our abilities get activated as well um so if you're I think that as confirmation so if there's a new generation starting in your family or about to i know oh, about to be conceived oh taurus <laughs> about to be conceived you are venusian taurus you do like those babies you do even you know that's the funny thing too i forget what placement it is there's an actual placement um <clears throat> with taurus that actually lean towards like leans towards um like they get turned on by the idea of like of of um, procreation it's really interesting i forget the placement of that though anyway i'm getting off track i'm sorry guys i'm sorry i'm like i'm getting so many messages that it makes my energy go all over the place bringing it back bringing it back to you taurus so i did just see babies and if you are you might be conceiving and some of you are also giving birth here either way abilities are about to be triggered here ability is about to be triggered for that generation Please bring forward any messages of true feeling and love for those who need it. I do feel like a lot of these messages apply to them. I don't know what that is. I do feel like a lot of these um, messages apply to the main collective here because it's Fulman and Taurus. I know there's going to be a spike in awakenings. I just know because of too long of a story. I just know. Okay. <laughs> Before the end of 2019, there's going to be a huge spike in awakenings and more ascensions, especially for those who've already had many ascensions. Expect another round of that before we hit 2020. Okay. So that could be a part of what I'm picking up on here. Not too much time left in 2020. It's like what? One and a half months? Six weeks, right? Left in tw no 2019. Jesus, I'm sorry. I'm jumping timelines. <laughs> Six weeks left in 2019. Anyway, Taurus, bringing it back to you. Let's come back. Let's come back. Pleasing for any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the last half of November. 
botanical. I just heard botanical, botanical. Some of you are getting into plant medicine or needing to, needing to. Oh, tonic. Okay. Some of you guys are going to start getting into making your own tonics at home. And I do feel it's mostly flower based. Oh, that's really interesting, actually. That's an interesting idea. Mostly flower based. I mean, flowers do hold all kinds of properties. All plants hold some kind of properties for healing. Um, but you know, herbs play a big role in that. Roots play, roots play a really big role in that. But someone's focusing mostly on flowers. That's interesting. Anyway, do I even need the cards today? <laughs> uh, please move forward any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. I'm seeing a bearded man. Who is this? Like it's someone's grandfather. Um, it's like I think his I think his natural hair color is like a light brown, almost like copperish. But because he's older, it's like it's all grayed in his beard. He's got a beard. He's got a beard. Brown eyes. Probably like five six five five, maybe like one fifty one sixty. I just heard Irish. I just heard Irish. Irish descent. As the what's that word Henri? Uh, Henri? I can't I can't say that word uh he's a character he's a character I feel like he's someone's grandfather or ancestor they're saying ancestor so probably not your grandfather grandfather of oh more like a great or great grandfather that kind of that kind of lineage he's hanging around a lot you might be getting some paranormal activity he likes to sit in a leather it's like a leather dark chocolate chair that's where he likes to sit he just likes to be. He just likes to exist. Uh, he's close for a reason, though. Ooh, we got three of swords that came out of here. Uh, Libra energy. Your sister sign, Taurus. Your sister sign. <sighs> Someone's got... Oh, someone has um issues with heartburn and acid reflux? Why am I seeing this? <laughs> Why am I seeing this? Someone's also... Oh, okay, I'm getting so many messages, Taurus. Hang in there. Um, I'm also getting, like, fire in the belly. Fire in the be belly. Fire in the belly. Um, please check on that. I feel like that's, like, ulcer-related. Ulcer-related. Please stop eating spicy food. You already know you shouldn't be eating it. Whoever that's for, you know who you are. Um, anyway, coming back to you, Taurus. Um, there's a painful situation happening here. It needs to happen is what I just heard. It needs to happen. Anyway, the person who's that that figure for that person I just saw he's just hanging around he's not causing trouble if you're worried it's like I think some of you are worried that it was someone who died in the house no it's not it's someone from your lineage it's someone from your lineage you live in a I don't think you live well you live in a place where they have seasons like California doesn't have seasons right you live in a place that has seasons right now it's raining I'm seeing rain outside anyway Please for any messages for truth, of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the last half of November. Now I'm seeing little girls. I'm getting so many channelings. Oh my god. Um, I knew you guys were pulling on me, but holy shit. I'm seeing two little girls. One with dark hair. Um, They're about the same height. Fool. Aries energy. Could also be Aquarius. Someone's leaving this heartbreak behind. Someone's leaving this pain behind. They need to. They need to. Yeah, it, need. It's a need. Whatever the situation is, could even be third party. You know who you are if that's the case. Being left behind. It's being left behind. Someone's taking a chance. Someone's taking a leap of faith towards what is making them feel good, towards what makes them happy. They don't care about the risks. Taurus, this could be you exalting yourself, claiming that power, owning it. It's yours. You're demanding it. You feel entitled to it. Okay? Anyway, back to these little girls that I'm seeing. Um... They're both under 10. They're both under 10, but they're the same height, but they're the different ages. That's They're both under 10 for sure, but different ages, uh, same height. One is dark hair. Uh, oh, okay, one's eight. That's what it is. I just saw her face really quick. Um, Asian descent. I don't know. I don't know what part. Sorry, I don't. I don't. I don't know what part. Can you give me a hint? They're not giving me hints. Anyway, uh, the other girl looks Caucasian, brunette. But yeah, they're the same height, but different ages. I think they're just friends. There's just friends. I don't know why I'm seeing that, though. Why Why am I seeing this? Why am I seeing this? They're, they're not giving me more than that. I don't know. They're not telling me why. Are they adopted? They might be adopted. They might be adopted children of somebody. They look happy. They look happy and healthy. Maybe you're worried they're not happy and healthy. They're happy and healthy. Anyway. Strength in reverse, Leo energy here. Ooh. There's a lot of risk. Whatever the sleep, the, whatever the sleep is, there's a lot of risks involved. I can feel that. It's almost like total uncertainty is what I'm getting with that. Total uncertainty. 
but Taurus, look, you don't give a fuck. Like, you you don't give a fuck. You, you don't care. Like, you're doing it. You're doing it anyway. You're doing it anyway. Uh, please provide any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the last half of November. Hermit, Virgo energy here. This feels like a separate energy. This is a separate energy. So we have someone who's leaping from a painful situation it's needed it's very much needed even if there's total uncertainty they don't care they're doing it it's needed it's necessary they don't really have a choice is how they feel and then we have this hermit person over here i feel a bit of a waiting energy like not that they're not doing anything they're just really focused on themselves yeah whoever this hermit is they're really focused on themselves could it just be a straight up virgo or you could be dealing with a leo, leo virgo cusper here Closing for any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Ooh, Six of Wands in reverse, the Leo energy. Yeah, this person's hiding. This person's hiding from the world. They're, they don't want attention right now. Whoever this is, they might. I think they're going through a hard time. Taurus, they're going through a hard time. They don't. They don't want to be around people right now for whatever reason or another. But I feel like you're leaping towards them for some reason. You're leaping towards them. Anyway, let's start your actual reading. <laughs> Another 16 minutes in. Let's start your actual reading here. Keep in mind, it can be vice versa. You can be the hermit here, okay? Any messages for Taurus regarding love for the last half of November? Any messages for Taurus regarding love for the last half of November? Any messages for Taurus regarding love for the last half of November? Any messages for Taurus regarding love for the last half of November? Any messages for Taurus regarding love for the last half of November? Oh, keep in mind, guys, if you have any questions on how to interpret tarot readings, if you're new, you don't get it, you need a guidance of some sort, please check the link below. Sorry, I'm just so in your energy right now. It's not even funny. Your energy is very captivating right now, Taurus. It's very captivating. It's undeniable. And I think that's also what's happening with me here. You're pulling me in so quickly that I'm like, I don't got a choice but to surrender <laughs> to your energy right now. That's how people are feeling about you. Very intimidating for a lot of people, specifically very intimidating for men. Interesting. Even if you're a man or a woman, very intimidating towards men specifically. Any messages for Taurus regarding love for last half of November? Someone's caught your eye, though. Can feel that. Ah, chariot. Can't see an energy forward movement, that exalting energy I was getting. Also, I'm getting a lot of vehicle, a lot of movement here. You could be having to go to a lot of meetings or something like that. A lot of travel energy could also be moving. But this is that energy of exalted, being exalted or exalting, uh, rising to power. But I do feel like some you've got someone in your sights, too, Taurus. Not just something, but also someone, even though there are a lot of people around you who are very intimidated by you. This person could even be intimidated by you, Taurus, so keep that in mind. But you're you're on the go. <laughs> you are on the move. You can't stand still right now. You got too much to do is also what I just heard. You have too much to do. Any messages for Taurus regarding love for the last half of November? February keeps coming up for people. It's crazy. I feel like it's happened every single reading. There is a lot going on in February regarding relationships, dismantling of the patriarchy, um, and for counterparts as well. All right? Just so you guys know. Any messages for Taurus regarding love for the last half of November. Someone likes to play chess. Don't get cocky, whoever that is. That's why no one plays chess with you. <laughs> okay? <laughs> Sorry. That had to be said for somebody. Someone's like, how come no one wants to play chess with me anymore? <laughs> like, because you're cocky. Okay? <laughs> That's why. I love you, but you're cocky. Just rein it in a little bit. Anyway. Any messages for Taurus? Or this could be someone you know. This could be somebody you know. Any messages for Taurus? Regarding love, ooh, and there's the Ace of Wands. Mm -hmm. Strength, Leo energy with that Ace of Wands. Yeah, this is heading right into what you feel you deserve, okay? Heading right into it. Not caring the obstacles in the way, not caring what you got to do to do it. It's yours. It's yours. You're just claiming it. It's yours. It's yours. You feel entitled to it. We do have a nine of swords here, though. Gemini energy. If you have any fears or reservations, you're not showing it because you know it's what's needed. You know it's what's necessary. You know it's what you're entitled to. You know it's what you're entitled to here. I do feel a guide. What is this? 
A lot of messages, Taurus. Um, something about lower back. Lower back. If you've been having lower back pain, it's just sacral energy. I wouldn't worry too much about it unless you have a history of lower back pain. Then, of course, address it. But I was feeling lower back pain. Um, it's sacral energy. I think one of your guides is helping you with that, like putting their hand on your back. You might be feeling that. You might not. I think it's happening at night. Specifically, it's happening at night. Anyway. Any messages for Taurus regarding love for the last half of November? That felt so wrong to say that. Why did that feel so wrong to say that? Is a timeline hap is a timeline change happening as I'm recording? What is this? That felt so wrong. Like that, like like the last half of November was so far away for a minute. Um, that was really strange. That was really strange. Any messages for Taurus regarding love for the last half of November? Any messages for Taurus regarding love for the last half of November? All right, that's it. Overall energy we've got. Uh, <laughs> couldn't see it seven of pentacles in reverse which is your energy taurus and then we have the tower scorpionic energy could also be aries because it's mars Ooh, and then we have lovers in reverse gemini energy here okay taurus giving me a lot of energy right now okay this over energy feels very that's what i'm looking for it feels destructive. I don't even want to say that because I think it's, I think tower moments are very positive here. But seven of pentacles in reverse. This is an, this is an energy of like a bad investment or not wanting to invest, not wanting to stick around is really what this is. And it feels like it is um, separating two people. Someone's not wanting to stick around, and it seems like with this energy in reverse that it's something that needed to be walked needed to be walked away from. Whatever this is, it's causing pain. It's causing heartbreak. Okay, and you're not sticking around for it. You're on the go for new and for your power. Specifically power, I don't know what it's about. But whatever it is, you're going towards something amazing. You're going towards something that's making you rise in your power, exalting you, and you're leaving behind something that doesn't serve you anymore here, okay? So let's go ahead and get into this a little bit more. Let's look at the chariot. Let's look at the chariot, because it looks so yummy. Um, it's got a weird smell. It like, smell like chemicals. Oh. Um, Someone works with chemicals here, like, really closely. I feel like it's in a lab. It's in a lab. Just try to wear a mask. I feel like you're not wearing a mask. Why are you not wearing a mask? Seems like something you should want to wear a mask for. You're having respiratory issues. Wear a mask. Please wear a mask. Oh, that's a little nasty. Anyway, chariot. Tell me about the chariot for Taurus regarding love for the last half of November. Tell me about the chariot. For Taurus regarding love for the last half of November. Okay, everyone needs to watch this video. I'm getting so many, like, so many channelings. I feel like for the main collective, not just for Taurus. <clears throat> Tell me about Chariot. Tell me about the Chariot. For Taurus regarding love for the last half of November, please. Ooh, my third eye is popping. Tell me about Chariot. For Taurus, regarding love, the last half of November. Okay, I'm picking up on criminal activity. I'm not going to talk about that. I don't think it's any of you. I think it's like within your neighborhood. That's your block. It's on your block. Someone's cooking meth. Okay, I just said it. That's it. This is it. If you're wondering about those sketchy people on your block and like why are so many people in and out or what's going on over there or why are they doing this, why are they doing that, that's, that's what's going on. Okay, tell me about Chariot. Tell me about the chariot for Taurus regarding love for the last half of November. Tell me about the chariot. Yep, seven of pentacles in a verse. Can't, can't invest anymore. Can't keep doing this. I got, I got to go somewhere else. I have somewhere else to be. <laughs> you might even be saying that to somebody. I have somewhere else to be and it's not here it's over there where my true power lies where i will be exalted and rise to my power and where i deserve to be and where people have to answer me and i don't gotta answer to anybody i think you're gonna be straight up saying that to somebody maybe more tactfully maybe more tactfully i'm just getting messages really fast so i gotta say them really fast so i have the chariot so i have the chariot Ooh, the devil Capricorn energy here yeah whatever it is you're leaving behind it's something that was toxic it's something that was holding you back a person a situation an environment even a job was holding you back and you couldn't be held back anymore it's really it's really just that simple 
I'm not letting you hold me back. That's it. <laughs> Person, situation, or a job. For some of you, it's definitely a job, especially with this like rise to power and promotion sort of energy. You could just be starting your own business and not wanting to answer to anybody. Yeah, because that's it, I keep getting that so strong. You do not want to answer to anybody, okay? Oh, you know what? The Aries reading might really resonate for you guys, if you, especially if you're cuspers. Anyway, time about the chariot. Time about the chariot for Taurus. Time about the chariot for Taurus. Regarding love for the last half of November. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Seven of swords, yeah. Definitely holding you back. Aquarian energy. Oh, I want to dissect the hell out of that. Overall energy. Look at you, Taurus. King of Pentacles. Taurian energy could also be earth or air with the magician. You're making shit happen. You're making shit happen. You're not letting anyone stop you. No one is going to stop you right now. You are a bull bulldozing, okay? You're not letting anybody stop you. You're manifesting shit. You're making shit happen. You will be stable. You will have your power. And you're not going to take no for an answer. Taurus, you're so powerful right now. It's it's kind of like, oh my God. Ten of Pentacles. This is what you're manifesting. What did I say? Your Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Cups. This is what you're after. And you're making it happen. And you're not going to let this person, a situation, or a job hold you back anymore. This is what you're leaving behind. Okay. Look at look at that awful shit. Look at that. That's awful. That's so awful. Someone could have even been doing magic on you. You'll know who you are if that's the case. But whatever this person, situation, or work thing was, it was a waste of your energy. It was a waste of your time. It was a waste of your money. It was holding you back. And I do feel like this energy of sabotage. Let's look at this Seven of Swords and then we'll get into this Ace of Wands. I'm going to use Lenormand deck on this one because this is just too fascinating. Do I want to use this one or OG? I kind of want to use OG. Let's go with OG. Do I have a Seven of Swords? What's the Seven of Swords here for? For Taurus? Regarding love? Ooh, for the last half of November, there's the man with the Ace of Cups here. Taurus, I feel like that's your energy. Even if you're a female, like I said, very masculine energy. Intimidating to even males, even if you're a man or a woman. Very specific message there. Do I have a Seven of Swords? Oh, commitment. Ace of Wands here. So Taurus, you could either be in a tied up in a commitment and that could have been what was holding you back. But I feel like it's more like this is what you're seeking because we have the Ace of Wands right there. And that's what you're heading towards. That's what you're seriously like no stopping you heading towards here. Um, one, you could just be wanting a really healthy commitment, something that will nurture you, help you expand and get, bring you, again, bringing you to power, something about bringing you to power. Those are very interesting. Let's keep it going. Tell me about the Seven of Swords here. Tell me more about the Seven of Swords for Taurus regarding love for the last half of November. Uh, I see what I see also what this is. So whatever this was that was holding you back here, it also could have been sabotaging a commitment of yours, sabotaging a commitment, a potential commitment, or just you having your power. Okay. Tell me more about the Seven of Swords here for Taurus regarding love for the last half of November. interesting birds communication with the seven of pentacles oh wow wow yeah i feel like someone or something was sabotaging you from some kind of commitment that would bring you a lot of abundance would bring you to your ten of pentacles focus yeah some i feel like it's a person i gotta be honest i like it's a person could be an environment whatever whatever it is um it's like it was keeping you from this you were never gonna get this ten of pentacles if you stayed where you are in this with this energy, this devil energy. Tell me about the seven of pe seven of swords, excuse me. Tell me about the seven of swords. Tell me about the seven of swords. Overall energy, we've got the bridge here with the six of wands. This is getting away from that, right? Uh, it's also an act of inevitability, an act of fate. Fate, fate to get away from this. Underneath that, we do have the tree with the seven of cups. Ooh, shit. Ooh, some of you was a family member. So I mean, this was a straight up family member. The tree is about ancestry. It's about ancestry. And with the fox, it's someone who knew, who were very, was very, very aware of what they were doing. Okay. 
very, very aware with the Nine of Wands energy here. The Fox is like a sly energy. It's very clever. It's very witty. It's very sneaky. Very, very sneaky here. And underneath that, we've got the Book of Fucking Secrets, okay? Yeah, I feel like it's a person, and I do feel like for a lot of you, it's probably a family member who's keeping you from your power and what you felt like you deserve. Remember, I was kind of getting that family business energy. You know, I feel like someone might have had to step down, Taurus, that you could take over. Like, they didn't want you to have your ten of pentacles they didn't want you to run the business but you're claiming it you're claiming it so let's look at the ace of wands and see your rise to power here view authority sorry i like i'm loving that i'm like i love that energy uh actually let me get water my throat just got really dry oh <clears throat> excuse me okay um let's do right or wait Ace of Wands. Tell with Ace of Wands. For Taurus. Tell with Ace of Wands for Taurus regarding love for the last half of November. Tell with Ace of Wands for Taurus regarding love for the last half of November. Tell with Ace of Wands for Taurus regarding love for the last half of November, please. Tell of the Ace of Wands. Why am I feeling Two of Swords? Feeling Two of Swords here. Tell of the Ace of Wands for Taurus. Regarding love for the last half of November. Ooh, got the Nine of Swords again, but in reverse. Yeah, this is putting your worries away. I feel like while you've been held back, before you just decided to fucking go for it, you were in this state. This nine of swords state okay i also feel like the person that you're heading towards because i feel like a person's probably involved in this that hermit person right that hermit energy and i just noticed in the ace of wands you have the two birds there you're meeting someone at this new beginning you are you totally are and i feel like you're also helping um dissipate their their anxiety and fear about something it's anxiety it's anxiety based very stress based talk about the ace of wands Ace of Wands for Taurus regarding love for the last half of November. Fool in reverse. Aries energy. Goes to be Aquarius. Fool in reverse is an energy of making mistakes. It's also an energy of um, being afraid of making mistakes. But it's not. that's not you. You're so powerful right now. You're so confident. You know exactly what you're doing. You know exactly what you're doing. I think... The person you're heading towards might have some uh, reservations here. Might have some reservations and insecurities and some trust issues in trusting you. But you're, I can feel it. You're not, you're not answering to anybody, but you've got your eye on someone. It's like you want someone to be a part of it. Like you want someone to be a part of your power. Oh, I just heard kingdom. Hmm. So you just want to be a part. Well, ten of pentacles would be a kingdom. That would definitely be a kingdom. So about the ace of wands for Taurus. Regarding love for the last half of November. Tell the Ace of Wands. Tell the Ace of Wands for Taurus regarding love for the last half of November. Tell the Ace of Wands. Oh wow, yeah. Tell the Ace of Wands for Taurus regarding love for the last half of November. We now have the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Change is needed here. Change is needed. Change is needed. This change to getting away from whatever was holding you back and going towards this person, this power, power position, this powerful opportunity, bringing you to your power, whatever it is, it's been needed, okay? It's very much been needed, and I feel like there's going to be a huge dissipation of anxiety, and especially from whoever is joining you in this, I really feel like you got your eye on someone that you want to be a part of this, whether it's a business partner, a friend, whatever, because you're not you're not interested in waste and time wasters, and I feel like this hermit person... You have respect for them. You have a lot of respect for them. You really trust them. But why do I feel like they have trouble trusting you? Interesting. Over energy, we have seven of wands in reverse here. Um, ooh. You are putting up a fight. You, the, you are putting up a fight. I'm surprised this is like this. Why? Someone's been humiliated. That's why this card's out here. Someone's been humiliated. Taurus, you might have been humiliated by someone. 
forcing you to make this move, forcing you to do this power move here because it's a claim. Let me make that very clear. It's a claimation. Okay. Um, is that, that just anything in Tim Burton? Anyway, total tangent, ADD. It might be whoever you're leaving behind because some of you, it's a person. I think there is a sense of humiliation here between you and whoever this is that you're leaving behind. If you're leaving a situation behind, it's someone centered around that. I think they did something to embarrass you and that was just it and it made you go total Taurus mode of I'm taking what's mine. I'm taking what's mine. I'm going to be I'm going to go where I'm most powerful. I really feel that. I feel that really strongly. Keep in mind this can be vice versa here. Yeah, I'm getting embarrassment. I'm getting embarrassment with that. And then you went into full fight mode. And now no one can mess with you here. Interesting. Let's go into this Nine of Swords energy, and then we'll pull some Oracle cards. Ooh, energy really slowed down. All right, let's look at the haunt. Let's use the Haunted House deck. Yeah, I feel that's what it is. I mean, you got triggered here. You got triggered to go into fight mode by somebody, and I feel like embarrassment was a part of it, and it gave you this burst of energy to just go and fucking do it. So I would like to see I'm getting serious again. To go and do it and be that authority that you know you are and that you know you've always wanted to possess, it, like, made you rise. It had to It had to happen, needed to happen, to force you to rise to where you need to be, okay? And now that once you get there, it's like whoosh, a release of energy. Some of the Nine of Swords... Come with the Nine of Swords for Taurus. Regarding love for the end of November. Come with the Nine of Swords for Taurus. Regarding love for the end of November, please. Come with the Nine of Swords for Taurus. Regarding love. Let's see here. Ooh. Judgment in reverse. Fire energy, also scorpionic energy for me as a reader. I'm feeling a big rift here. Hopelessness. Rift and hopelessness. Talking about this Nine of Swords energy. Oh, Five of Pentacles. Taurian energy. I feel like this is how you guys were feeling before this, like, this trigger happened. Before this tower moment happened. Yeah, I mean, this is feeling like like really being stuck, like really like, um, what's the term? Like uh, cornered? Cornered. I'm getting cornered. Feeling like you've been cornered. Talk about this Nine of Swords. Talk about this Nine of Swords for Taurus regarding love for the end of November. It's like, what? I mean, what happens when you back up a bull up into a corner? They're going to fight back at some point, right? They're going to fight back at some point. And this is you fighting back and owning your shit. Owning what's yours. You remembered you were a bull. Tell me about the Nine of Swords. Tell me about Nine of Swords for Taurus regarding love for the end of November. Yeah, shit. Five of Wands, Leo energy. Yeah, someone put you in a corner. Someone tried to. Someone tried to shove you into a corner. And you finally said, fuck this. <laughs> That's right, I'm a bull. Fuck this. Tell me about Nine of Swords. Tell me about Nine of Swords. Jesus, Nine of Swords again? Holy shit. So we have two fives and two nines that just came out. We have, is that the ace? Yeah. We have Ace of Swords in a verse. With the Nine of Swords and the Nine of Wands here, okay? Someone tried to put you in the cor into a corner, and I do feel there was a sense of embarrassment there. Like, someone lied to you? Why does it feel like a setup? This is going to interesting places. It's like someone lied to you, Taurus, or someone set you up to be embarrassed, and all of this came out, and you just, and it, you felt cornered, and it was just like, done 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 i'm gonna go and claim my power i'm gonna go and, and just fucking own this shit like you should you show them who you are you show them the power that you possess the power that's always been with oh we're going there taurus the power that's always been inside of you it's always been inside of you it took something like this it took something like this to have it come out to like provoke it out of you a little bit here Whatever this time moment was, it was bad. 
For some, it was just a lie that came out and it was embarrassing. Or someone actually embarrassed you in the workplace or a boss embarrassed you, embarrassed you in the workplace or a partner embarrassed you in front of like family or whatever or friends. Um, and for others, like you were actually set up to be embarrassed here, okay? Because overall energy, we do have a manipulator here, magician in reverse, a manipulator. I don't feel like this is your energy. I feel like this is you manifesting your Ten of Pentacles and getting to your place of power here, okay? But no, I feel like someone manipulated you or manipulated the situation. Yeah, underneath that, the moon in reverse coming out, secrets coming out, secrets coming to light, lies, lies surfacing. I really feel that strongly. They didn't know who they were messing with and you showed them. You show them who you are. And now you don't answer to anybody. But I can't get away from that feeling of you wanting to join someone there, like with, or someone like wanting someone by your side, someone you can trust, someone you trust, someone that you know wouldn't do this shit to you. Someone who you know, like, would not set you up like this. I feel like that's part of your tower moment here, Taurus. Like, as you suffer through this, it's making you think about people in your life or think about, like, your possibilities, right, for your Ten of Pentacles. Again, your rise to power, what you want for your kingdom here. And someone came to mind. Keep in mind, it's a timeline energy. Some of you might not even hit this for a while, okay? Um, and it could be vice versa. It could be someone that you're connecting with. Anyway, yeah, within this tower moment of embarrassment, feeling embarrassed, feeling cornered, someone comes to your mind of, like, that person would never do that to me. And I think that's who you're heading towards. Actually, let's pull some cards on that, then we'll do Oracle. Um... Because I can feel it. You're heading to somebody. I can totally feel it. All right, let's do... Oh, no, let's do one Ormond. We'll do one Ormond. Who is this King of Pentacles heading towards? Who is this King of Pentacles heading towards? Who is this King of Pentacles heading towards in this new beginning? Who is this King of Pentacles heading towards in this new beginning? Let's see what we have here. Wow. The key and the tower. The key is literally how it sounds. It's unlocking, unlocking information, releasing information. The tower is contracts and commitments. What did I just say about commitments, right? With the ring. It's that very similar energy. It's more like a hair font energy, though, of like actual contracts could also be work indication. Uh, we do have the six of swords. So moving on, moving ahead with the um, eight of pentacles, putting work into it, or it could be a new work opportunity. A lot of this is around work. Okay, so let's see. I'm also getting secrets about work. Secrets about work. Who is this King of Pentacles heading towards? We got a Queen of Pentacles energy attached to this with another master number. Two master numbers and a cyclical energy. Uh, pretty auspicious here and choosing a new path. This is about choosing a new path. A Queen of Pentacles energy is tied to it. And Taurus, you're coming across as a King of Pentacles. Yeah, I really feel like you already have someone in mind who you're heading towards. And I'm telling you, it's like the second this embarrassment happened or being put on the spot like this or being cornered like this, someone came to mind. It was like, that person would never have done that to me. Who is this King of Pentacles heading towards? Who is this King of Pentacles heading towards? Who is this King of Pentacles heading towards? Oh, that's it. On the bottom, we have the compass. So choosing a true direction here of where to go next. And, you know, pretty, pretty nice for that to come out with the new path here. But I feel like it is a Queen of Pentacles energy. Definitely a Queen of Pentacles energy. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and pull some advice. Any advice from my Torians regarding this spread? All right, so I'm just making space, making space. Any advice from my Torians regarding this spread? 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 Any advice from my Torians 
regarding this spread. Any advice? Oh, that's too much advice. Too much advice, Spirit. Less cards, please. <laughs> I throw out like seven cards. Less cards, please. Any advice for my Taurians <clears throat> regarding this spread? You might already know what to do, Taurus. Ah, there we go. I love it. Badger spirit. Be fearless and bold to head towards your stability and your kingdom and your power where you don't answer to anybody. You're, 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 you're just showing them who you are. And you're not fucking around. You're really not fucking them around. I, I love this, though, because it really has unlocked your inner power, Taurus. And it's, it's really made you realize who you really are. You're a Taurus. You're a Taurus. You're a bull. No one fucks with a bull. At least they shouldn't. Ugh. Any advice for my Taurians regarding the spread? Yeah, just go balls to the wall with this shit. Honestly. Make them speechless. You're going to make people speechless. Any advice for my Taurians regarding this spread? Let's see what we have here. Oh, we got the fox. It's funny because fox is... <laughs> Fox is out here. Uh, think on your feet. 27 breaking down to a nine. And then we have that manifestation energy, magician, king of pentacles. Uh, make your dreams real. 56 breaking down to an 11 here. Play it smart. Play it smart. Play it strategic. Be an air sign is what I just heard. Be an air sign about it. Be an air sign about it. Maybe you have a strong air placement. I don't know. But this is about going at your manifestation from an intellectual standpoint, which I'm sure you are already doing because the moves you're making, it's like you're just doing it. You're doing it. You're claiming it. You feel entitled to it. You're, and you're just doing it. You're just doing it. You're just doing it. But be smart about it. Be smart about it. Be an air sign about it. Be methodical. Any other advice for my Taurians regarding this spread? Overall energy. Brown bear spirit. Which is funny because this is that hermit energy. that We do have the... E oh, damn it. So I forget where it cut off, but brown bear spirit, which is that hermit energy I was talking about, take time out with the energy of nine. Underneath that, we do have eagle, which is a like a spirit guide, and I was sensing a little bit of that for you guys. Spirit has your spirit has your back. I was getting that lower back channeling. Oh, that's so funny. Uh, 23 breaking down to a five here. I feel like this is actually representing the person you're heading towards, that hermit person that we were picking up on that doesn't like to deal with people. And I think that's also why you trust them because it's kind of like they have your kind of stance on that. Like they don't fuck with people and you just got fucked with by people. You know what I mean? And a hermit is someone who has sage wisdom. This is the epitome of sage wisdom here with eagle and the brown bear. Um, definitely listen to your own intuition here. Definitely listen to your guides. I don't feel like you should slow down. I don't think you should slow down. I think this is why Badger came out. Be fearless, be bold, and don't stop. Like, do not stop till you get there, okay? Or get to your dream person, your dream kingdom, your power position, whatever it is. I think this is the person that's going to be helping you. For a lot of you, it's just a guide. But for some of you, I feel like it is like that queen of pentacles kind of person who's just like, like very wise, very wise, um, very calm as well, like cool, calm, and collected for the most part. And that person that I was picking up, like, they don't fuck with people. They, have a, like, they probably have like a really small social circle. They probably do battle by themselves, which I think is also why you like them or want to be with them in this new start, whether it's just a business. For a lot of you, it's just a business, okay? Not just like a romantic situation because this feels like some serious shit, okay? <laughs> this feels like some serious shit. I do feel like you're being guided to this individual. Like I said, for a lot of you, it could just be your own guides, your own ancestors helping you out here, okay? So Taurus, remember who you are, Okay. And don't let this humiliation make you feel bad about yourself. It doesn't look like you're going to. It makes it looks like it's just going to trigger you to be who you are and let your power really shine, which I think is fucking awesome, by the way. And you're going to use that power and energy and momentum to manifest your Ten of Pentacles that you don't have to answer to anybody. You're going to leave these fools in silence, okay? Some of you, it was like not just one person ganging up on you like this. Some of you, it was just... Some of you was a romantic partner. Remember, we had lovers in a verse. Some of you was a romantic partner. Some of you was a family member because we had that tree because family members could also be partners, right? It was someone someone or many people that you held, held, was made that very clear, <coughs> excuse me, held very close to your heart and part of your inner circle. And I think that's also why you're so coming out of the gate as heated as you are and so like just aggressive and meaning business, you know, like very serious and as you should. Hold on, if I can pick this up. As you should, King of Pentacles. Okay? All right, Taurus. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Don't forget to go on Patreon and Vimeo, and I hope you guys have a really great night. Namaste.